So I'm here with uh, Jeff Gadway of Research in Motion, and he's here to talk to us about the new and exciting BlackBerry 10. Jeff, tell us about what makes this new phone from Research in Motion so exciting and so different. Well, one of the biggest differentiators for BlackBerry 10 will be the new user experience that we call BlackBerry Flow. And it allows users to move more quickly through tasks because they don't need to go in and out of multiple applications. Let me show you what I mean. Mm -hmm. So here from an application, I'm able to peek into the BlackBerry Hub to see what conversations are unfolding and whether there's anything that needs my, uh, my immediate attention. I don't need to leave that app just to check what's happening in my inbox. So you're just swiping up and then to the right, and when you do that, you're seeing what's in your email what's in your inbox, and you can just swipe back if you don't want to actually look at it. That's right. That's right. Exactly. And if I wanted to go right into the BlackBerry Hub to address that message that just came in, I can just continue that gesture. Um, when I'm in the Hub, I have access to all of my, um, my, my, my messaging accounts, things like my Facebook, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, as well as my personal professional email. But what's really neat about this is that the Hub even brings in information from other applications outside of uh, my communication apps. So for example, if I swipe down here, I can see what's next on my calendar. Mm -hmm. And I can even go in and get information about that particular meeting or the people that I'm going to be meeting with. So I can see a particular attendee's updates from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all without ever leaving the BlackBerry Hub. So within, without having to actually go to a different application, you're immediately getting context um, on the people within your appointments, whether you've engaged with one another in the past through email and, and meetings. Absolutely. It's all about putting information at your fingertips where and when you need it so that you don't have to go look for it. And none of that, that is actually going to another app. This is all within BlackBerry's proprietary service called the Hub. And this is a new exactly. thing for you. You guys don't have this on previous phones? No, the, the Hub is uh, brand new. Um, we've always been a, a platform that excelled at communications. And we, uh, we've have, we have an inbox that supports many different types of applications. But the Hub really takes it to a next level. And so now you've got Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn integrating with that, so you don't even have to open Facebook or any of those other ones. And now you're just waiting for other developers to also integrate. That's right. So the hub is going to be an open API that developers will be able to tie their applications mm -hmm. into. So if they want to provide their users with um, real-time updates on content or um, information attached to their application experience, they'll be able to do that with the BlackBerry Hub. And just tell me about what makes the keyboard so innovative now. Well, the keyboard um, has always been something that, that BlackBerry has excelled at, you know, allowing people to communicate with um, speed and accuracy and ultimately be confident when they're typing on their smartphone. And so with the BlackBerry 10 smartphone, we've really focused on delivering um, the best typing experience on glass. We're doing a lot of things like a personalized next word suggestion. So as I type, you'll notice that I get suggestions that pop up in the next letter that my eyes and fingers are headed to. And then to, to select that word, you're not even going to tap it, you're just going to flick up. It's just flicking so it up with your thumb. Yeah. That's quite new. Um, and you didn't have this on previous phones. And you're saying that this technology is kind of proprietary to BlackBerry, but also coming from other um, other developers who you've worked with. Well, the the keyboard that you see here has been has been built by BlackBerry. Um, you know, providing that that very distinctive um, design that has a lot of uh, merits uh, itself, uh, from the frets to the positioning of the touch targets on the keys, um, and even that next word suggestion um, invocation that we that we just showed. That's all BlackBerry. Mm -hmm. And there's a heat sensing map underneath the keyboard. How does that work? Yeah, so it's technology called heat mapping. And what it's doing is actually tailoring the touch targets on the screen to the angle at which your thumbs um, touch, the, touch the keys. So if you commonly mistype um, the, uh, the O key when you're trying to hit the P key, um, we will recognize that and just subtly move the target for the O key um, under the surface so that it uh, allows you to be more accurate and make fewer errors. All right, Jeff, can you just tell me when the phone comes out and how many carriers you've got? Well, right now we're testing uh, BlackBerry 10 with over 150 carriers around the world. And on January 30th, we're going to have our global launch event um, where we'll reveal more details about availability and pricing. Okay, Jeff, thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you.